I'm back at it again for another tinted sunscreen review. And today I'm gonna be reviewing Sunbum. I have my delivery from Amazon Prime. I purchased this a couple days ago, came last night, and I'm very excited to try this. It's not one that I've really seen reviewed. It's definitely a brand I've seen in drugstores. I've never actually used any of their products, but they always kind of intrigued me. I was always a little ambivalent towards them. You know, are they really as good as the packaging proclaims? We'll find out today. I don't know who she is, but she looks very happy about this. Here we go, Sunbum Tinted Mineral Sunscreen. I found this while browsing on Amazon. I was like, what am I gonna try next? You know, I've tried the CeraVe, I've tried the Dermatology brand, and I've tried the Australian brand. There's still quite a few left to go, but this was the next one on my list. I'm definitely trying to tackle some of the more affordable ones. This one came in at $18. While that's not cheap, it's also more affordable than other many of the other tinted sunscreens that I found online. Also, can I just say that the packaging is like, it makes it look very small, <laughs> like a small amount, but it is 1.7 fluid ounces, which is the same amount, same amount as the CeraVe and the Dermatology brand stuff that I tried for you. But it's amazing how packaging can really distort your perception about how much product you have. Anywho, do love the packaging though. I mean, not that I really care that much. I care about the ingredients and you should too. Like don't really pay attention to the packaging, only pay attention to the ingredients. But after you pay attention to the ingredients, you can admire the packaging. I like the minimal design, just the, it's just minimal, okay? Um, so let's just get started with this, you know? Let's get started. Okay, anyway, that was enough of that. You'd probably never want to hear me sing again. Um, so what do I, what drew me to this product? Okay, first of all, it's vegan and reef safe. So that's great. It means that it's safe to wear in the ocean if you plan on going to the ocean. And it's cruelty-free, vegan, cruelty-free. Um, so it's made with vegan ingredients and does not have any animal testing. Amazing. It's also a completely mineral sunscreen, which is, is good, right? Like uh, that includes titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. My favorite tinted at the moment is the Dermatology brand, but it is a combination sunscreen. Um, as far as ingredients in the United States go, our chemical filters just are not up to par with those in other countries like Japan. And so the only ingredient I really care for in the United States is zinc oxide. Finding a sunscreen that's just pure mineral sunscreen is, is great. Okay, moving on, it's fragrance-free, otherwise I wouldn't be um, using it. <laughs> I don't have sensitive skin or any allergies that I know of. You can certainly develop these over time, which is why it's imperative to really try to find fragrance-free products when they're leave-on, especially like, you know, in the case of sunscreen. Finally, it's tinted, obviously from the title of this video. As some of you might know, I've been really trying to find the perfect tinted sunscreen for my skin, which is, you know, a median, medium brown tan skin tone. And this is because people with darker skin tones are more prone to hyperpigmentation from visible light on the visible light spectrum, namely blue light. I think as we move forward and more research is conducted, we're gonna see other adverse effects that blue light can have on the skin, including photoaging. So there already are some preliminary studies, but I think that this is going to really be more apparent moving forward. And so I wanna be proactive as I've stated in some past videos, and um, that's why I'm looking for tinted. So it comes down to price, um, the vegan aspect of it, mineral aspect of it, the tint, the fragrance-free, it all is, it's this culmination of what this is. So I have high hopes for this, but I do have some concerns. First of all, it's an SPF 30, which is, you know, the same as what the CeraVe tinted sunscreen I tried was. And so, you know, this is on the lower end of what I would like to use. However, I do think SPF 30 is sufficient. You just have to make sure to apply the appropriate amount, which for the face is a quarter uh, teaspoon, but 
Of course, I don't apply this to my beard, so I can even use a little bit less. And I use a different sunscreen for my beard, as some of you also know, which the ones I use are more gel-based, and so they have less of a tendency to stick to the hair. So what, what are my other concerns? It has aluminum hydroxide, which and some sunscreens can create a somewhat drying effect, but it's there to really create more of a matte appearance. Also, it has shea butter. So shea butter, while it's a really great moisturizer, it does tend to make the product more thick, and I like my product to glide on a little more smoothly, so we'll see how that goes. Um, in addition, it also has mica. Mica is a sediment that has a very like sparkly and glistening appearance. You can find it naturally in in rocks and clay and in dirt as well. I made a pot out of <laughs> mica I collected from the ground one time. It, it was in this class, it was Native American ceramics and I actually made a kiln outside with just like wood and my pot exploded. Anyway, enough about that. I think that it could make my skin glisten or it could just make me look like a light bulb. What are the ingredients? I want to really talk about some of the notable ingredients and not the really obvious boring ones like, you know, glycerin and dimethicone. So some notable ingredients include evening primrose oil, which is a fatty plant-based oil that is non-fragrant and contains a lot of omega-6 fatty acids, which really has an emollient benefit, which means that it softens the edges of skin cells and it also helps deliver other ingredients into the skin. It also includes cucumber plant extract, which is a great antioxidant that also has soothing properties. It being an antioxidant means that it can help protect, further protect from UV damage and also the pollutants in the air. One ingredient is the linum, let's, nope, pause right there. Linum usitatissimum. It also includes linseed oil, otherwise known as flaxseed oil, which has a high concentration of omega-3 fatty acids. And this provides a soothing effect for the skin, but also it can prevent water loss. Finally, it includes rosehip oil, which is primarily used as an emollient, but it also includes antioxidants like vitamin E and provitamin A. So it can be some extra protection from pollutants and UV damage. There we go. You have some background now. Um, so as you see, as you saw, I just opened this product. I haven't had a chance to actually wear it. I notice like when other people are doing reviews, they tend to wear it before, but I think that this provides a more candid response. So I just want to try it on camera and maybe what I'll do and try to do more is actually follow up later in the day and just say like how it feels after wearing it for several hours. Cool. Hang on. Okay, I'm back and I'd be lost without my Hotelobo UV gel. I use this in for my facial hair almost every day. This has been a staple in my skincare regime. Um, anyway, I just like love it. I love the way it feels. And so it's, it's a nice start to my day to apply this to the skin. And I'm gonna link this in the description as well as the Sun Bum and other products that I use on a daily basis. I'm not going to do my neck with this Hotelabo sunscreen today because I'm actually going to do it with the tinted and I've been trying to start using tinted on my neck because I want the blue light protection there as well. Um, in the past, the reason I didn't and was apprehensive is because of the transference to clothing, um, which still happens, especially I think with the non-waterproof or water-resistant brands. It washes off in the washer if that does happen. I think I forgot to mention it's water-resistant, which is another huge plus for me because my other sunscreens are not. So this could be a great option if you're gonna be outside, if you're gonna be at the beach, if you're gonna be just doing anything that people do outside. Good option, water resistant for 40 minutes. And so I'm really curious to see how it will wear on the skin considering that it is water resistant. Hopefully rubbed in. Last time there were globs of UV gel on my face. Okay, getting my mirror now. Um, okay, let's get started with the the sunscreen trial, which is why you're here. Um, oh, wait, got a notification about a video that I'm wanting to watch, but I'm in the middle of filming, so that will have to hold. Actually, no, I do want to watch it really quick. Bye. <laughs> Sorry, that was really unprofessional of me. Sometimes you get notifications about 
YouTube videos from your favorite YouTubers and then you have to watch. Anyway, let's just like start what you came here for, which is the trial of the Sunbum Mineral Sunscreen. Let's do this together. Oh, is there a... There's a metal seal on it, which is great. CeraVe did not have that, so I don't know if I just, mine was tampered with or they just like don't seal their products. What's happening? Okay. Oh, yum, delicious. That was really satisfying. Um, okay. Start with that amount for now, but I'm gonna likely add more. Okay, it's resembling, it's very, has a very like mousse-like texture actually. So it feels whipped almost. This is unusual. And it feels like, yeah, it feels like I'm spreading whipped cream on my face. Which I'm not mad at. Okay, it has like almost no scent at all, which is great. Um, because remember, fragrance-free doesn't necessarily mean unscented. It just means that there's no masking fragrance. I'm really not hating the texture. I was worried about the shea butter, but it's still pretty light feeling. Um, not sure how the color is going to come out. It does look slightly light for my skin tone, but first impressions are not always reliable, contrary to popular belief. It's weird though, it feels like airy almost. Okay, time to look in the mirror. Get my eyelids. Really trying to get it into my skin because it's not the right color. Um, okay, so first impressions, it's in terms of color, it's looking similar to the Australian brand I tried, which I found out more recently that they've expanded to add new um, tones to their line. So some people have recommended that, which is interesting. I'll definitely look into it. This is very much, it's made for people with lighter skin. And I mean, this could, my opinion could change as it kind of settles in, like most sunscreens, they do become a little bit more transparent, I suppose, after you give them some time. So really apparent that I'm wearing something. But I gotta say, I do really like the texture a lot. It just, it feels nice on the skin. It feels nourishing. It was just really an interesting consistency. I've never felt anything like that before. Oh, and I didn't go in with my neck yet, but I'm a little concerned about what that's gonna look like. Love this. It's like a mousse sunscreen. It's weird. I feel like I like the products that feel like food. Like I like the Hada Labo UV gel because it feels like yogurt. And I like this because it feels like mousse. I wonder if anyone else is like that. Let me know in the comments. Feels nice. I don't know. I want to like use more. Okay, I'm going to put another layer on my face just so i know that i have the protection that i need remember this is only spf 30 so we want to make sure we're applying enough in order to block out 97 percent of uv uvb rays specifically oh my gosh i just love this watch me break out <laughs> just kidding i'm not gonna break out also i want to point out that it seems to be blending a little bit more just with time. So maybe I spoke too soon and I can continue to use this because I bought it, I wanna use it. Anyway, here it is. I think that if you have lighter skin than me, not necessarily if you're white, but if, if you have just like a slightly lighter shade of skin than me, this product might be good for you. If you have the same skin color as me, stay tuned because I'm gonna let you know what it is like in say like 10 minutes. Okay y'all, so something amazing happened and it's only been like five minutes since I last 
since I shut off the camera. It like seeped in or something or just really like adjusted. And now it actually looks pretty good. Like this is a contender for um, a daily sunscreen for me. What I will say as a caveat for some of you is that if you have very dry skin or even flaky skin, if you're like just starting a retin-A, this might not be good for you um, because I have a little bit of dryness right now uh, and it kind of like accentuates that because it's not as much of a creamy formulation. It's kind of mousse-like, airy, and it has the aluminum feature, which I think makes it like less desirable for people with extremely dry skin. You know, it's not a perfect match color-wise yet. I don't know, like oh, it's only been five minutes and it's like made drastic, a drastic change. It also doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, it definitely doesn't have as much of the creamy texture or like the creaminess um, that some of the other sunscreens have that give your skin like kind of a glow, which is interesting because they have that mica ingredient, which is, Unusual, I haven't really seen mica in the other glistening glowing products, but maybe this it was in there to sort of compensate. I don't notice much of a shine, so if you don't like shiny products, you don't want any shine or to show, this is like gonna be excellent for you. Um, and I think if you have even like just slightly lighter skin than me, this could be fantastic. Um, for me, I'm still debating, you know, looking at yourself in broad daylight is kind of a litmus test to see if this will be acceptable for out in public and right now it's like i don't i can't see it i'm doing a real good close-up for you so yeah it's it's light it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything which is awesome for a lot of people and you still have the protection with the iron oxides and the zinc really cool stuff i'll check in a little later if I have anything else to include um, or just if my opinion change or even just to reaffirm what I've already stated. Um, but I think this is, I'm like pretty happy. I just have to check in again. It's been about an hour and I am just overall really impressed with the performance of this sunscreen. I haven't applied any more yet, but I'm about to because I'm gonna go outside. But I just wanted to show you what this is looking like an hour later, it's like almost just disappeared into the skin. I mean, I don't, I feel like I'm not wearing anything. So this is a really good option for people who don't want like a lot of shine. Pardon the marks on my nose, I was just wearing glasses, but who don't want a lot of shine, who want it to look natural and like they're not wearing anything. I, I've been amazed. I mean, when I first put it on, I knew, I know I was like a little alarmed about the color. It's just, really like melted into my skin. It's not even detectable anymore. But overall, I'm just like, wow, I'm loving it. I think this might be a win and something I'm gonna wear very often. I'm here at my favorite place in the world. Okay, not really the world, but my favorite place locally. And it is a gloomy day outside, but I still have my hat and my sunglasses on because we all know by now UVA is insidious and it does cut through the clouds and it penetrates your skin. So I'm gonna take my glasses off just to show you that this sunscreen is fabulous. I'm wearing quite a bit now. Um, and it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything, which is amazing. That's something I can't say about most of the other products I've tried because you know, you have to layer it and um, continue to apply it throughout the day. And then by the end of the day, you just feel like you're wearing a whole mask. This is definitely a keeper and I'm very happy. Um, so yeah, I hope that was helpful. If you're interested in trying out the product, check out the link in the description and I am gonna keep using it. I'm so happy that I found this on a whim. Enjoy your life and I'll see you next time. <laughs>